everybody, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery on YouTube. I hope you are doing well today. I'm sure you noticed that if you've been here a while, there was a little bit different intro today, and that's because we're going to talk about some new tools that I have. We won't talk about every tool that I just got that I unboxed in that video, uh, but we're going to talk about some of the carving tools. Um, but, and they are, they are from Diamond Core Tools. You guys are probably pretty familiar with their products already, and if you're not, you definitely should check them out, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. They're not necessarily an official sponsor of today's video, so I don't like have a, a coupon code or anything like that for you, so I apologize don't have that. Uh, but I did reach out to them and see if they would be willing to share some of their tools with me. Uh, they did give me a few tools and then I bought some uh, on my own as well. So uh, there's a mixture there of, of tools that they did give me because I told them I wanted to highlight them on my, uh, on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. And so we did work out a little bit of a partnership there, but there's no official sponsorship happening here. Uh, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen me already use these tools because I did a couple carving videos already. And I uh, don't have any of those pots finished to show you yet, uh, but I've gotten comfortable enough that I thought, okay, now's, good to, now's a good time to uh, actually make a video and show some of the carving, at least the way that I'm using them currently. And I'm sure that will evolve over time as I get used to them and get better, better at using them. So, and also if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen a short video uh, the beginning of this week or end of last week where I threw these couple platter bowls that I have here and these couple bottles. I threw these uh, actually yesterday. Uh, so uh, this is, you know, future me talking about past me. Uh, but I threw these uh, yesterday in preparation for recording video today. And so I'm actually going to cover these with slip, either the whole piece or just part of the piece. And then uh, let that stiffen up or dry it with a torch. And then, uh, and then carve through that, and all these are going to be for my, uh, my next wood firing. So anyway, I am going to uh, cut to a video here. I made a time lapse of throwing these just for the sake of the time of this video, or the, or the length of this video, I should say. Uh, I did a time lapse of throwing these pieces, and I'll add that in here. And then uh, when we get back from that, we'll start doing the slip work and then the carving. So uh, here's, a, a, like I said, a short clip of me throwing these four pieces, and then we'll be back in just a minute.
we have the slip work done on all of them as you just saw I decided to just do a uh, a, uh, a silent or sped up version of that to make it a little bit quicker as well. Now I'm going to get into actually carving some of these, uh, or carving all of these I should say. One of my favorite tools so far that I've used is this uh, curved one and uh, I'm not sure like if I if I like it because it's the shorter palm carver or just the uh, the tip but I think I think I, uh, I really like that curved tip on this one. Actually I like all of them for different reasons but this one I'm going to do kind of like a um, Kind of like a vine with uh, with leaves. Um, I'm actually not going to draw the. Um, I'm actually not going to carve the center line. First, I'm going to draw a center line kind of in the middle of this rim, and then I'm going to go on the top side of it all the way around, and then I'm actually going to go on the bottom side of it all the way around and kind of make like leaves. I'm not necessarily going to try to line them up with each other. I'm just going to carve both sides of that center line. And so first what I'm going to do is just spin this and uh, draw a little bit of a pencil line in the middle if I can. Um, it may not show up amazingly, but it'll be enough to get a, give me an idea of the center line. And then uh, some of the carvings that fall down in the middle I'm just going to leave because right now it's still a little bit damp down in the center, but the rims uh, stiffened up so I don't want to wait any longer on this one. Uh, but if the trimmings get down in there, I'm just going to leave them and as it dries those will uh, free themselves from the uh, from the clay down there and just brush out. So that line is not quite in the center. Uh, don't really like that, that I drew it a little bit more towards the edge than the inside, but uh, but I'll, I'll adjust as I'm carving. So first, what I, what I figured out with this one to get the uh, design that I like is actually to come uh, on, on my far side and I'm actually going to carve kind of like straight down and then kind of swoop to my right. And so that's going to give me that little, uh, should give me a rounded edge where I start and then as I swoop to the right it kind of, and I curve the, the, the tool a little bit and that gives me a little bit of a pointed end to it. Um, I haven't perfected that but that's kind of the, the look that I was going for and I've watched a few of the videos of other people carving with this tool and, uh, and that's what I found out. So I'm going to start doing that and uh, and try to work over here where hopefully you can see as I'm doing this. Uh, the good thing about this one also it is it has the car the curved tip so that's actually the part that you the, that you carve with and that helps the rest of the tool stay out of the way as you're carving. So uh, like I said I'm just going to carve straight down and then curve towards that line just like that and I get that nice uh, bulbous uh, part with a uh, with a uh, kind of a tail on it and uh, I'm not going to worry about it being too perfect but just going to carve and get all the way around and then we'll switch to the underside. There we go. We got all of the uh, all of the top side carved, and then in order to do the bottom side, I'm actually going to have to come on this side closest to me, and then I'm going to pull towards me and then curve to my left in order to do the same curve, but on the bottom side, because I can't really. It's a lot easier for me to do that pulling towards me than it would be to push and still go to the right. So I'm going to pull towards me and go to the left and then uh, go all the way around on the bottom side and we'll see what it looks like. Looks pretty good so far, but uh, this bottom side will really complete that look to it. And uh, here we go. inside and outside carved and I do have to say that I think that looks pretty cool. Very happy with that and like I said all those shavings that are in bottom I'm just gonna leave those because it's damp down in there and if I try to get those out now it will uh, it will definitely mess up the inside and I'll come back later as well as this dries and I'll just clean up uh, with a little tool around the edge to get any little burrs off um, and or I could wait until that's bis fired and then just sand those off that would be a possibility as well uh, but uh, for now that one is done and let's go on to carving the next one but that one looks pretty sweet all right I'm gonna do a similar pattern with this one as that last one except I want to uh, maybe have uh, have the line that which that 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 uh, 
uh, vine kind of will follow to maybe uh, to maybe go down where each of these um, crimps are in the rim and then maybe come up in between those crimps to a high point and so maybe have have it kind of so it curves uh, and if I draw through this a little bit it's not gonna bother me because I'm getting ready to carve it anyways uh, but just have that line be a swooping line uh, that goes from kind of goes high and low and then if it goes along with those crimps it'd be kind of cool let me get the high point to be over here I found a, a, a pencil is uh, this one's a little bit more wet than it would need to be to actually draw on with a pencil very effectively uh, but that'll still give me a general idea and the other thing I know about this slip is uh, depending on if I glaze over it or not um, I, if I glaze over this it will give me a different effect uh, and it will actually melt uh, because of the, the um, uh, iron and the manganese that is in this slip. It allows it to, to melt some in the firing. So I'm not too worried about getting that line perfect. Um, but then again, too, it may find out different when I'm done that I'm like, man, I wish I would have done, waited for it to dry a little more and made it a little more, uh, you know, of a perfect line. But, you know, this is going to be somewhat of a, a vine, so I'm not worried about it necessarily being, uh, I like to have those nice curves. Uh, but the organicness of it is still going to be fine. So uh, now I'm going to do, do basically the same thing. I'm going to come on the, the top part of the line here and I'm going to carve down and go to my right and I'm going to go all the way and try to follow that curved line all the way around and then come back on the, on the bottom side and do that as well. And uh, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out. that one up and we'll move on to the bottles all right so here are the different tips that I've got of uh, carving tools from diamond core I've got the uh, the curved or the or the curved u-tip so the curved means the this part and then the u-tip is the shape I've got two curved uh, v-tips which they are curved and then they have the uh, they go to a point so they go to a v per se and then this is the curved square tip so you can see it still has the curve this way but then it has a square tip and I'm learning all different ways that I can use all of these and uh, so I'm just gonna play around a little bit more I think I'm gonna start with the uh, the smaller curved uh, V tip and I'm actually gonna do some lines that curve and then I'm probably gonna add some uh, like little leaves to that and then I think on the on the point of that I might even try to do a little bit of a bulbous point with the curved U tip and then I'm actually gonna add some white slip dots kind of like uh, the top of the plant or the flower uh, not trying to get realistic but just trying to get play around with some different designs and I think I'm just gonna do that on this top portion of the uh, of the shoulder of this uh, of this jug and then maybe or, or uh, uh, this bottle and then we'll play around with a little bit something different on the next one uh, but uh, yeah so we're gonna try that out uh, and uh, the, the, the the hard thing about carving and with slip is that if you mess up it's not like uh, if I'm normally doing slip work like with a bottle, if I don't like what I did, I can just wipe it off and try it again. If you're carving into the clay, it's, uh, it's a little bit different ball game because if I mess up or I don't like the line I make, uh, I just kind of have to work with it. So that is definitely the trickier part working with carving a pot versus just adding slip work and slip decoration like I'm used to. Uh, but I'm going to start out with just some, uh, some curved lines with this, uh, with this curved V-tip and then we'll come back and enhance those. So hopefully you can see uh, what I'm doing here, but this one, this one is really, uh, really nice because uh, it, any of these, uh, and, and including slip work, any of these, you can go back and, and adjust lines if you need to. Uh, but one of the hardest things is that if you ever uh, trying to do slow motions like I did right there, you end up having a, a, a tougher time than just having a, a quick, confident stroke uh, uh, to any of your your markings 
I've always noticed that that is, that is a better uh, way to do any slip work and, and with the carvings is to have kind of a, um, a quick confident stroke and that usually helps um, with, the, with the design by doing that. So I'm going to do a few of these here, maybe do three on this one as well as, uh, and then I've got two on that one. Uh, maybe we'll add a third one to this one as well. Maybe a shorter one that comes down lower. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to take the, uh, the curved U-tip, and I think I'm going to try to add a bulbous part to the top of these. And so I'm going to come back to the top right where I made the same line and then just uh, add a bulbous tip to these. I've never actually done this before, so this is kind of experimental, but it looks like it's working. Nothing like experimenting <laughs> live on, on recorded video. I don't know if that's live, but uh, if I mess up, I gotta trash this pot and then start over. And I've messed up my video in that case, but it looks like it's working, so that's good. Now this doesn't have the point, the, uh, the, the, the line inside there doesn't, uh, inside my, my U-tip one doesn't have the, uh, the sharp line in there, but I think I'm okay with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down towards the bottom and I'm going to make some uh, make some leaf looking things down here at the at the base of each of them. I should have done that uh, more like that. I think I should um, just do one side and then flip it around to do the other. Yeah. Can't really do. See, and I kind of covered up my mistake there by doing that. Let's see, we'll just do a small one there. We'll do this one. There we go. And then we'll put a couple right there. A couple longer ones. There we go. So that definitely is uh, cool. I like that a lot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the top of each of those and get my white slip. The, love, the one thing I love about my white slip here is it actually stays 3D. Uh, if I ever do slip work uh, lines or dots with this red or the uh, this is what I call my dark red slip, the other one's my black slip. Those, because of the iron content in them, uh, if when they get hot enough, they actually melt and, uh, and don't stay 3D. This white slip will stay 3D. So one of the things that I uh, love to use this for is doing my dots, uh, which if any of you have been following my work at all, you know that I love dots. And so uh, what I was thinking about doing is just adding dots like this to the tip of each of these little... And then they will... stay 3D on the finished piece and no matter how I glaze over this or if I just leave it raw either way we'll have uh, we'll have those white slips white slip dots staying 3D there we go man I am I am actually super thrilled with that and uh, I'm glad that worked out so well, especially seeing it's on video. So there's that one. There's a little bit of a negative space right there, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't have to be completely covered. Um, but actually, no, I am actually going to put a uh, just a little singular one right there. Maybe give him a... Oh, here, I'm going into uh, Bob Ross mode. Give him a little friend right next to him. Don't want to leave him alone. Um, he'll get lonely. All right, and now I'll do my uh, oops. There we go. There's those, and then a little bit more white slip. And there we go. All right. 
filled in that little bit of negative space there. But uh, either way, I'd have been okay with it. But uh, yeah, I think that one's really cool. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. All right, I was actually gonna do a different design on this one than the other one, but I love that design so much and it went so well that I think I'm actually gonna just go ahead and do that same design on this one. And then in the future, I will share, um, maybe once I work out another design that I like, I'll share another design um, on a future bottle. But, uh, but that last design went so well that, uh, and I'm like, man, that looks really cool that I wanna try. I wanna have one in the red slip and one in the black slip. With the same, uh, same pretty, with, with pretty much the same design is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and carve um, with the, uh, the the curved uh, V tip. Uh, do my straight lines, make them bulbous at the top. Do the leaves at the at the base, and then do my white slip dots at the top. And then uh, we'll uh, come back and wrap up the video. Well, there we go. We got all four of these pieces carved, and I'm very happy with all of them, uh, which is super exciting, especially seeing I did them all live on video or on, uh, uh, like I said, with the carving, you can't just like wipe it off and try again. And especially this design on the two bottles, uh, that was kind of like a spur of the moment idea, and I was like, oh, that might work, and, uh, and, it, and it did. So I'm very happy with those. Excited to see how all these turn out in the wood kiln. And I'll definitely be sure to share pictures of these with you all so you know how they turn out once they come out of the kiln. Uh, but uh, as always, thank you all for your support on YouTube channel. Uh, all the likes, all the comments, all the shares. Uh, those things are what help out my YouTube channel and help it grow and uh, help me uh, help it be profitable so I continue to make them. I'm motivated even more to make them that way. Uh, but uh, anyway, like I said, thank you guys as always for your support on all my social media and everywhere that you find me. And uh, yeah, all those links are in the description if you're interested in any of those. And uh, I'll be firing my wood kiln again here in probably another month or month and a half. And uh, excited about that. And uh, we'll keep the videos rolling. I appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, you guys probably noticed I have my Matthew Kelly Pottery shirt on and uh, I will have some of these for sale eventually. Uh, if you're interested, maybe just send me a message, a uh, private message or a comment on this video and then maybe we'll work something. I don't exactly how we're going to do that yet, but uh, I will have shirts eventually for sale. And these are really cool because this is, uh, this is actually, it's not laser jet printed, but it is uh, similar in the sense that it's not, uh, it's not vinyl, so it's actually in the fabric. And so uh, it's guaranteed never to fade or crack and uh, definitely love that. And uh, anyway, yeah, so side note, rabbit trail. Anyway, thank you guys as always, and we'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day. Bye.